Okay, so the rear portion of your vehicle. First we have the microwave. As you can imagine, this works just like any other microwave. Pretty straightforward. Over here we have a full 110 outlet that you can plug into. And we have the sink. It has the basin cover that lifts off. We also have a faucet head that pulls out as well for rinsing. And we've got the fridge down below with the silver latch to keep it from opening while driving. Lift handle. Inside we have a freezer, a shelf, and a drawer. And we've got two drawers next to the fridge. These drawers do lock. And the bottom drawer contains your cargo net. You can place this cargo net between the hooks here and two over on the other side near the toilet. So you do have one AC vent back in the restroom area. It's located right here. If you want to increase flow to this vent, close some of the vents along the rear driver's side of the vehicle to force more air to the back. Also, we've got our toilet paper roll holder here. You do want to make sure you use an RV or an RV Marine style toilet paper. So it's much less likely to clog the system. It's going to break down much easier inside the tank. So let's talk about the toilet and how to operate it. Again, with the water pump turned on, you're going to take this foot valve on the front and push it halfway down. That's going to begin to add water to the bowl. Add the appropriate amount of water for whatever you're planning on doing. Then let your foot off the valve. Do what you came to do. Then when you're finished, you're going to take that and push it all the way down to the ground. It's going to open the trap on the bottom and then water will continue to run down the sides. Once the bowl is clear, let your foot off the valve. It's reset and ready for the next use. Up in the ceiling above the toilet, we have the exhaust fan. So you're simply going to take this handle, push it straight up to open, and then there's a small button you're going to push to turn the fan on. When it's not in use, make sure you keep this pulled down so this area stays watertight. We have this cabinet next to the toilet. Inside here is the inverter. No reason to mess with this, just be aware this is where it is in case there's any troubleshooting that needs to happen. Right below the inverter is the Apple TV device. If you ever need to pair the remote to the Apple TV device, it's right here. Below this cabinet is the breaker box for everything on your 110 system. Simply push the door open, and then you have all the breakers inside. So if you don't have power to an outlet or a television, check this to make sure you didn't trip a breaker. So where's the Wi-Fi router located? With your rear cargo door open, you're going to find this cabinet facing out towards you. Open the door. Router is located right here on the top. As you'll see on this sticker, this has the IMEI number that you're going to need, as well as the default password for the router.